Real Time Crime Center is uh, the innovative uh, high tech uh, center, basically one of the first uh, utilized for crime fighting. It gives information to the detectives in the field at the scene of the crime. Uh, and at that time, saving manpower and uh, saving a lot of time, utilizing a warehouse of information. We also use open, open uh, search areas. Uh, there's public databases that are out there that we utilize. Um, we can use Google uh, right up to any type of web page that's necessary, tied in with our internal data. And as you can see, our, our uh, investigative analysts all utilize two monitor screens so that we can actually team up a regular web search along with our internal searches. As soon as there is a, a, a shooting, a major incident, uh, we're able to map out that exact location. Um, with that, we can actually drill down on the map and see what's around in that location, see what type of area it is, um, what, what the detectives or the emergency service unit is going to be dealing with, uh, whether it be apartment buildings, individual uh, residential areas, what type of terrain they're dealing with. And we're able to drill into it, at least if you just go into the one house. I mean, the investigative analysts are detectives. Uh, they basically are the ones that uh, find out the information in the field. They work the information in the field, uh, send it back into the field. Well, what we have is a few things going on now. Um, one of them is ba basically a location where there's a shooting. And uh, we can actually scroll in, see the actual location of, of where the shooting occurred. Uh, we talked about link analysis. Link analysis we utilize, again, to see the associations and the connectivity of uh, exactly how these people that uh, are involved in the incident uh, may be associated and this way get closer to solving the crime. Every incident is different. Um, basically, if we have a witness that sees someone uh, with a tattoo as they leave the scene of the crime, we're able within our databases to pull up certain tattoos that we, we basically obtained uh, from uh, other arrests and correction departments and we try to look and see if that basically fits. Uh, the same thing was description of a weapon, uh, it was described as that weapon. We were able to uh, bring that weapon up with a picture of it and then show it to the witness and ask if that was it so then we can go further and follow different leads. A sharing of information is important. Um, there's certain uh, hardware now that can share things with other uh, agencies, other counties, other states. Um, when we have that sharing of information, it's going to be a lot better throughout our whole country. We have very close ties with our intelligence division, our counterterrorism division, joint terrorist task force, so um, information can be shared. Everything that, the, that we do, the police department does, um, information is taken. And uh, whether it's a smaller little violation, information is taken. That information now that used to be in those small boxes or kept in certain places years and years ago are now put into databases and then put into the data warehouse. And all those things can be queried uh, for addresses, names, phone numbers. Uh, and, and this is really what it's all about is the connect, connecting of those dots.